Some of you know me as a business owner when I had the bakery. Mm -hmm. And there are many of you who remember me um, as far as Edgecombe Community College. But one thing for sure, it's always been about the people. That's right. I, when I had the answers all alone, it's going to take a collective effort. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, knowing that we do have real life issues, but together we can make the city go forward as we continue to say, not only we're the center of it all, but we represent the fact by um, being represented. Let me stop. I'm so excited about being here. Being the center of it all means you have to start in the center and work your way out. The center being the people, listening to those, those needs, and addressing those needs collectively together. No one person will have the answer. It's going to take more than just um, the city council. It's going to take you, the citizens, to know that you have to do your part as far as stepping forward and recognizing that things don't happen overnight. But as we work together, this city will continue to grow. And we can say proudly that we are the city center of it all. So I just want to know that I'm here to serve as I have always served throughout the years. And I need your support. How? Well, you give donations. <laughs> Not just that. But go to the polls and vote. Go to the polls and vote. A lot of times communities will say, um, well, we don't have this and we don't have that. But if you realize that your vote is tied to progress, then you will no longer sit back on the sidelines, but you will get out and exercise your right to vote. Remember, it starts local. It starts local, and it also starts with you. I'm Teresa Alsa, associate candidate for mayor for Rocky Belt. I'm here to fight for you and with you as we go, go forward in this election.
And so we've got to get back to some morals, get back to some, some really family issues and things that we have to do, and just really address these issues. And I will tell you, just being out there, whether we think we're in a service to someone, uh, giving food boxes or producers to them, and to find out people, uh, lights are cut off, breaks your heart. Uh, they really don't have any place to house the things that we think we're giving them a service to. And so that's why you hear us talk about better homes. Well, if you knew uh, programs that the city offer, you know, that may give you up to $15,000 on your home, uh, and if it takes $8,000, then you know, you know, get the other seven, but you need to know that information. And so as we talk about better roads and better uh, chances, there, there are felons that don't know if I pay my restitution and if I serve my time, I can get back into the workforce. I can get back uh, to voting. I can get back to things. We have to disseminate these type of things back into our community. And so Everett will tell you, I will make no promises to no one. But I will tell you this, we only can get better together. And it's time for our city to do better. So with doing better, we have to now look at all of these issues that are, so, so Teresa, I stand and uh, support, uh, I stand in, in knowing that I'm proud of what you've done, what you have accomplished. Uh, someone that I see that's in the community, uh, at this meet and greet, I can tell you, she's, you know, there, there are times when we had to depend on Teresa mm -hmm. to get our news. That's right. That's right. No one has took the time to do that. And so I want to be the first somebody that has been in media mm -hmm. that will say there are times when we had to say, look at Teresa's page to get the information uh, that we needed. Uh, some of you may or may not know, I actually started local news here mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. on WNCR television. And we tried to be informed about one of the biggest stories that was in this mm -hmm. town, uh, the Mark Bowling piece. Mm -hmm. and so that was actually documented. It was on Investigator ID channel. As a matter of fact, Camilla's Dancy, who's here, mm -hmm. uh, when That's they called him, he told him to see me. That's and it comes to, to, to this, guys. It's about relationships, mm -hmm. and relationships are big. And we should be about building them. Mm -hmm. We should be about doing whatever we can do to say, say I can say, Matt, th this is something I see going on in your neighborhood. How can we help? Send somebody, he, same way, he's offering food. I've actually stopped doing it alone. Just go over and get some boxes from him. Mm -hmm. Because everybody don't need to do the same thing. That's right. If we bring our collective energies together, you'd be surprised at what we can accomplish mm -hmm. in this town. Another thing I'll say this and I'm done. One thing that bothers me after I have met with different city officials or different uh, people that are in strategic places, our city only accommodates our children up to 12 years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You may not have ever known that. Mm -hmm. The Boys and Girls Club only goes to 18. Yes. Well, if you look at the crime rate that's in this particular town, this is between the ages of 16 and 24. Mm -hmm. So there's a gap. So Silver has a plan to Look at those issues, and I would love to work with uh, Teresa Austin Stokes mm -hmm. to be able to say that we got these issues, what can we do, uh, how can we put our collective efforts together, and boy, what uh, a day it would be, guys. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to speak on faith tonight, mm -hmm. that I can just see God doing something. Come on, God man. is in the midst Come of doing on, something, because I'm not your regular politician, mm -hmm. Teresa is not your regular yeah. politician. But I believe this was a God move mm -hmm. and a God strategy. Mm -hmm. And watch God work. It's open for Q&A now. Any questions you might have or any information you might need as far as the early voting and the polls opening and where they might be. Anyone in the room, we still don't want to take it for granted. Uh, some someone may need that information. Well, for those of you who don't know, early voting did start last Thursday, the 21st. Um, it will go through October the 7th. You will need your ID, but if you don't have your ID, you still may be, uh, you still can't vote. Um, what was challenging about early voting, the start of early voting, was that on the 21st and 22nd, the voters uh, who wanted to vote on those two days they had to drive all the way to Tarboro to the Edgecombe County um, Board of Election, or they had to drive all the way to Nashville to um, Edgecombe County um, Board of Election. But as of Monday, which was the 25th, all the way to October 7th, 
anyone who wants to vote, you um, still can go to those locations, but the good thing is, if you're in Edgecombe County, you can head to the Department of Social Services, or you can go to Braswell Memorial Library. Remember, um, early voting, the time schedule, 8 to 6, Monday through Friday. We will have one Saturday, which will be the 7th. Um, that time, I need to double check, I think that's 8 to 3, 3. 8 to 3. Please, please encourage your family, please encourage your co-workers, and even though it's downplayed, and I will say I did not uh, run on that platform, I am the first female who has run for mayor in the city of Rocky Mount, and the first African American. But at the same time, I'm not ashamed of who I am, and where I am a female. All right. <laughs> I just happen to be a female and an African American who's running for mayor. And it is historical. It's true. It's historical. Mm -hmm. uh, Rocky Mount is made of 53% women. Right. And currently, we do not have any representation on the city council. That's right. But we can make a change um, by getting everyone to get out and vote um, because we do want um, to have representation. Um, what else can I say? except for this has been a journey and I'm excited to be a part of this journey, especially uh, with you all who have been walking along um, with me and, and encouraging and support. But there's still a whole lot of work to do and I can't do it on my own. So I encourage you to please um, make a call, call 10 people, uh, get people to the polls. Uh, let's get folks out to vote, vote, vote. Teresa Austin Stokes. Any <laughs> <laughs> questions? Let me say that Teresa also did not know that you had a QA, uh -huh. but I also want to tell, because I did not know this, guys, we had some information that was not ultimately correct. Mm -hmm. We were told that voting ended on the 15th, or registering to vote ended on the 15th. Uh -huh. You actually can still register to vote during yeah. early election. And I want to make sure that is said on this camera. Mm -hmm. Even if you uh, you have uh, ID, we know that ID has to have happened this year. So you have to have a piece of mail, I think, and your identification to make sure that you can actually register then and there. So don't, because right now this is critical. So we have to, again, how do we disseminate this information back out to the community by giving them the right and correct. So it wasn't, the 15th wasn't the last time you could register. You can do it only during uh, early election. On which site. Is on, on, on site, okay? Mm -hmm. So so uh, make sure that we know that information. I want to make sure that Teresa covers that in her piece. Thank you. And if you have any issues voting, don't just walk away. Um, get help because you shouldn't just walk away and be discouraged because there are people who are on site who can help you. And there's an 888 number of which we need to um, get that out to the community mm -hmm. that if you are seeing um, voter intimidation, uh, don't hesitate to call. But don't just walk away. If you happen to get there and they can't find your information, find out why and don't leave until you find out where and um, how um, you're disposed to vote. But please, just don't walk away. Uh, so get that's your why the in. tables are set up mm -hmm. and that's why we're out there. Mm -hmm. So we can help people that are challenged mm -hmm. with trying to vote. Um, you want to say again, um, what about the military? If you have someone with you that going to assist you in helping you, you have to make sure that you let them know mm -hmm. that they are there to assist you. Mm -hmm. They won't let them um, come in and um, help you with uh, assisting you. So um, they should get that out too because uh, that's one of the things that they have stressed to us um, and our um, community. Yeah, but like for those people, you know, for those that may have, you know, some problem understanding or whatever, and if you need some help and you brought somebody along with you, let them know that they're there to assist you through their trial. Okay. Good information. Um, I've always been approachable and down to earth. Still the same today. So don't hesitate to stop. And if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask or um, don't. Um, afraid to reach out to me. Um, again, for me, it, it has always been about the people. I'm 
my Facebook page. It's more than just a Facebook page. Knowledge is power. Yes, and we've had the opportunity to um, touch stories and touch lives that would not have been given the attention yes, um, that they needed if it wasn't for that. Again, I just want to thank you all for coming. If y'all have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, this is an important election. Um, and we need for all of you, everyone who's looking, listening to get out and vote. Any questions? Well, I want to thank you all for coming again. And Dr. Angie, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so thank you. Take it for granted, and may God give y'all traveling mercies, and um, we're gonna keep running this race until the very end. Um, Let's make sure that we go home and um, hit up our Facebook pages, um, Instagram, um, TikTok, whatever, because it is early voting, and let's take advantage of um, um, the social media. Um, people may not hit like, love, or care. But they're watching. Mm -hmm. You know, they are behind the scenes and they are watching. And they will get on the telephone and call somebody else, even though they may not call you. Mm -hmm. But they will call someone else and, and say something. So let's make sure that let's keep Teresa, let's keep Pastor Silva, let's keep um, Andre Knight, let's keep them, um, Joshua, let's keep them in the social media eye. What, you know, let's just keep right on pushing it out there every day, every other day. You know, let, let's, let's do it so much that they say, hey, okay, we have to vote for these people because these are the people that are going to make the difference in our city and it's going to fight for the change so that it will be a level, a level playing board, not just one side, but all sides. All right, thank you. Again, don't hesitate to ask any questions before leaving. We're going to be here the seven. What time is it? Six forty-two. Wow. Right. Time five blocks. Again, um, I value each and every one of you. Please help us spread the word as we continue.